welcome to my Elder Titan guide for tricks and tips and skill usage. So to be very on the basic side, I'm going to start out with each ability and then uh, tricks you can do with it. So first off is your Echo Stomp. It basically stomps around Elder Titan in a 500 radius and also around your spirit. A couple things people do not know about this ability would be the following. Half the damage is physical and half the damage is magical. The Elder Titan hero stomp deals physical damage while the spirit does magical damage. If the spirit is inside of you, you do total damage. If it's outside of you, like I said, you only do half damage unless you hit the hero with both stomps. This is uh, just a, a trick for mastering the hero because that extra damage can be key a lot of the time. A lot of the time when I run the spirit pack, I'll stomp right before it gets to me and it will hit the hero with both damages as well. So when the stomp hits, it applies a sleep on the enemy hero. When the heroes are sleeped, damage will wake up those heroes. Things that don't wake them up, which makes this huge, is stuff like tower hits and creep hits, which does a ton of damage when they're diving. Also, when units are slept, they, for the first zero, I think it's 0 0.8 or one second, they cannot be waking up. So this means you have free damage for the first just under a second. So remember, only player based damage can wake up the affected units under the sleep. Like I said, lane creeps, neutral creeps, and buildings will not wake them up. So let's uh, move on to the next ability, Astral Spirit. So Astral Spirit, pretty straightforward. Uh, you send out a spirit, you can control it, does damage, and also is another target for your stomp. It does hit bonus damage for heroes and creeps. Another thing people don't know is it also grants bonus movement speed for each hero it's hit. And it's a lot more on heroes for both the damage and the movement speed. So try and hit the heroes. The heroes roughly give about double creeps gift. Something people don't know about the spirit is it's an actual unit. This means you can teleport on it with boots of travel. It counts as a target for a dazzle heal, nuke, etc. I know we're not on the next ability yet, but the aura from your hero also applies to the spirit for your natural order. One thing I'm not sure of, it does, it is a unit, but it does not prevent neutral creeps from spawning. They will still spawn even if your hero's on the, the spawn box. Don't forget that your spirit's movement speed is identical to your hero's movement speed. This is a big reason why Elder Titan picks up a lot of items that give him bonus movement speed. It makes hitting those stomps much easier, but also your spirit hits a lot more heroes and can keep up with the enemy. Just as a side note here, when you use the spirit, you get a new ability called Return Astral Spirit that takes over your W slot. Pretty straightforward, you hit it, it comes back. Spirit always moves back at a speed of 600. A lot of people don't know this. That's another tip to know. So let's move on to his third ability, Natural Order. He uh, reduces all enemies' armor and magic resist. A lot of people don't know this as well. It works around your hero and your spirit. Armor reduction is based on the unit's base armor and armor granted by agility. So it's really good on heroes like Morphling or Terrorblade, etc. It reduces most magic. If you're not aware of this, all heroes in the game have the same base magic resistance. Minus two heroes, that would be Meepo and Visage. So it, it lowers it basically to zero for most heroes at max level. Another people don't know is the aura's debuff lingers for one second. So even if your hero leaves the enemy range for the aura, it will stay for one second. Let's move on to his ultimate, Earth Splitter. It deals max health of damage. This means you can, if you have a refresher and it's max level, you can literally one shot heroes no matter what their health is. Uh, it does 30, 40, 50%. A little bug in the game is the crack visually will extend up to 2600 range, but its effect actually stops at 2100 plus 300 radius. They can also hit heroes behind, uh, I'm not kidding you, 300 range radius it's around the crack. So right at the start of the crack, with 300 behind your hero, it can hit them as well. The 
Pull interrupts channeling spells, so it's great for cancelling Black Hole, or CM Alt, Witch Doctor Alt, etc. So now I'm going to go over some tips and tricks with using all the abilities now that we know how they work. Echo Stomp. One huge trick for Echo Stomp is it can actually be cancelled and not go on cooldown. You can spam it. How you do this is you hit Echo Stomp with your Q and you instantly hit stop. The animation will still go off for your hero and your spirit, just the beginning of the animation, but it will not actually go on cooldown. This is great for juking out heroes like Puck. You hit the spirit on them, you hit your stomp cancel, he will use his phase shift and then you stomp him for good. Practice this out in a lobby, it's a really cool trick. It even extends further. Because of that animation, when your spirit is sent out and it's coming to return, you can actually delay the spirit's returning by spamming stomp cancel animation. The spirit will basically go to stomp, run back, stomp, to run back, and he basically looks like he's glitching out. And this can uh, be crucial in taking those stomps extended in the, in the uh, team fights. It really depends how fast you are with a keyboard, how fast you can hit the QS. Again, practice in a lobby. It's a really cool trick, if anything, and it actually does come in handy. So let's go over Astral Spirit now. A lot of people don't do this properly, so this is very crucial on using the hero properly. When you use the spirit and you stomp, don't send the spirit back to your hero right away. Just don't do it. Keep the spirit out there. Make sure when you're using the Astral Spirit, you hotkey it to a key that you're comfortable with, so you can constantly move between your spirit and your hero without leaving one sitting idle. So when your spirit is out there, you've stomped or whatever, keep it out there as long as you can. The reason is that aura of yours is huge. You want to have the aura on the enemy teams as much as you can. But also you want to have vision of the enemy heroes. It's crucial for getting extra spells or last sets in, so make sure your spirit chase the heroes. And also try and get your aura sets down as many as you can. Another trick for this is your spirit cannot attack. But if you select your spirit and right click on an enemy hero, it will automatically follow that hero wherever he goes. This is a really good trick. Anyways, the last trick is your earth splitter. Hitting your ultimate is kind of hard starting in the early levels. But remember, Echo Stomp, and I recommend you always level it first, so you don't have the trouble. But Echo Stomp, starting at level 3, guarantees an ultimate. So remember that. It disables long enough to get your ultimate off, starting at level 3 Echo Stomp. Rejoin. Your middle tower is under attack. So thank you very much for watching my Elder Titan tricks and tips. Please stay tuned for or watch my other guides on Elder Titan if you haven't. Uh, they're very helpful as well.